alive now. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I am Dr. V. Mohan, chairman of Dr. Mohan's Diabetes Specialty Center uh, and the diabetologist based in Chennai. I am also the president and director of the Madras Diabetes Research Foundation. Thank you all for uh, joining us on yet another edition of the conversation series with Dr. V. Mohan. Uh, this, uh, today we have a very special guest whom I would like to introduce to you. I have with me Dr. Sandeep Bala. Dr. Sandeep Bala is the Director of Training and Adjunct Additional Professor of the Public Health Foundation of India based in Chennai. As we go along today, you will realize why we are having this conversation because uh, kind of historic things, if I can put it that way, have happened in the field of diabetes education uh, in general and with certificate courses in collaboration with PHFI in particular. Uh, let me give you a two minute brief uh, uh, background of that. Before that. Let me tell you that Dr. Sandeep Bala completed his MBBS from the Arm Forces Medical College, AFFC Pune. He then completed his MD and Dip and in Community Medicine. He is a medical doctor with a postgraduate degree in Community Medicine. He has also been awarded several fellowships by international universities. Before joining PHFI, he had worked for VMMC, Saptajam Hospital, National AIDS Control Organization, BFID, IAHMR, uh, and many other uh, prestigious organizations. About 10 years ago, he joined the Public Health Foundation of India, I think it was in the year 2010. And the job he was entrusted with immediately has subsequently, if I may put it that way, remained his flagship project. And this is the certificate course in evidence-based diabetes mellitus. So let me give you a brief background about this course. Until then, until around 2010, I had been in diabetes education, teaching doctors, educators, and many others by running our fellowship in diabetes program and uh, many other courses. But these were all full-time courses. Doctors had to come and spend two years with me full time as a residential course and stay with us. Now, while this is very good and we are able to train a few hundred people over the last 20, 30 years or so, the growing epidemic of diabetes in India was so huge that the numbers of people with diabetes in India was just too much. Uh, even at the rate at which we were training people, we are training like five people or 10 people in a year. So when uh, you know Dr. Sandeep Bala first approached me with a plan that the Public Health Foundation of India would like to collaborate with uh, our center uh, and with Dr. Mohan's Diabetes Education Academy to create courses which can be run all over the country and even abroad, where large numbers of people can be trained in diabetes using very similar training material that we are developing or have developed uh, at Dr. Mohan's Diabetes Education Academy, it seemed like a good opportunity. Then the question of funding came up, which I'm sure Sandeep will also talk about. And uh, we approached uh, some pharma companies who were very generous because um, one of them was MSD and there are, for other courses, we got other sponsors. All of them very generous in the sense that they did not interfere in the content at all. We can very honestly say that. Uh, so what happened was that they give a grant and then they want this to benefit people. So it's more like a uh, in a CSR mode that it was given. And on top of that, as uh, Sandeep will explain in a minute, I'm not going to uh, say everything that he wants to talk about. I'm just giving you an overview. We said that, OK, this is all developed by Dr. Mohan's Diabetes Education Academy, but then there could be other viewpoints. So we formed a, what is called as a national faculty consisting of the who is who of diabetes in India, both in the government sector as well as in the private sector. So we had people like Dr. Nikhil Tandon from All India Institute of Medical Sciences, Dr. Anil Bansali from PGI Chandigarh, and very famous names like uh, Dr. Amrish Mittal, uh, Dr. Shashank Joshi, and, and many others, and formed the national faculty. 
the idea was that the national faculty will then train about 100 regional faculty who in turn will then turn uh, say, uh, you know train the doctors so this multiplier effect for the first time uh, we tried and this course became a runaway success and dr sandeep bala will explain to you the ccb ebdm course i uh, looking back after 10 years of this course i can proudly say that it's the largest capacity building course in diabetes not only in india but in the whole world and you'll hear some of the stunning statistics and the successes that you've had with this. Following the success of CC EBDM course, then we started other training uh, courses and related fields, diabetes and heart, thyroid, diabetes and uh, GDM, gestational diabetes, and most recently, diabetic retinopathy. All these courses have been very, very successful. They've gone uh, accolades, awards, and recognitions from their respective associations. But we had never discussed this in public. This huge amount of work that has been done is known in the diabetes circles that we do or in the physician circles, but not outside. So I was telling Dr. Sandeep Bala, we have finished 10 years after completing a decade of this, after training thousands and thousands of doctors. I think we must tell the public, tell other doctors, and this will also give opportunity for other doctors who don't know about this course to come and join this course. So that's the background uh, behind this, uh, you know, the Facebook Live program. I'm now going to hand it over to Dr. Sandeep Bala and ask him to tell the story, the success story of these training courses, capacity building program, as you'll explain to you today, it's not just in India, uh, not just in the private sector, it's gone far beyond that. So over to you, Dr. Sandeep Bala. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir, for uh, giving the brief about this capacity building journey, which uh, Public Health Foundation of India uh, started in 2010. 2010, uh, as the epidemic of uh, diabetes and pandemic of diabetes, you can say it was growing all across the globe. PHFI, uh, we thought that there is a dire need because the availability of the specialists are there, but mostly they are based in the tertiary care centers. On the other hand, if you see the burden of the diabetes population, those who are coming up in a very big way, there is a dire need that we should train our primary care physicians. Why primary care physicians? Because they are the first line of contact and they are the backbone of the referral system. And if you give them the opportunities, update them with the recent advancements, because if you remember that when we did our MBBS or MDs, and now if you see, there is a huge drastic change in the guidelines and the management and day to day, medicine is a very vast changing field. Every day the updates are happening. So we picked up this pitch that there is a gap between the medical knowledge and the capacity building arena. And by having a great hands with you, an academic partner, nothing best than that we should start it off in 2010. And we brought an initiative that is known as Certificate Course in Evidence-Based Diabetes Management. You have rightly pointed it out, sir, very well, that uh, we never thought, and uh, till now, I am uh, even today also, we are never thinking it or that we have completed 10 years of journey. And you have rightly said that immense hard work has gone in this particular model. And this model has now become a roaring successful model in the capacity building arena, not only in India, but it has crossed the boundaries now and already running into another 10 different countries. How this thing has happened, it is not a one night game. It is not a one month game. And it is not a one person efforts, but it is an effort of immense people associated with it, whether it is DMDA, whether it is PHFI, but we have a large pool of faculty, large pool of observers, large pool of national experts, those who have been involved in this. And we are also thankful to our funding partners for giving us the generous grant for starting this noble initiative. 2010, when uh, uh, Public Health Foundation of India, which is a very premier public health tank set up in India in 2006, keeping in mind to act as a public-private partnership model and to act as a catalyst in the field of public health. One of our major agenda is strengthening of health systems. Sir. And under that strengthening of health system, capacity building is one of the core area. Pro Professor K. Shirinath Reddy is the very eminent name in the field of preventive cardiology. And this project came to Professor K. Shirinath Reddy. He's our eminent, uh, he's our president of Public Health Foundation of India. And when this project came over, then Nothing best than that he thought of, and he thought of Dr. Mohan's Diabetes Education Academy. 
And that's how I joined Public Health Foundation of India on 3rd of May 2010. And this project has happened in, on 5th February 2010. When this project was given to me, we were having five team members, sir. And when those five team members, all young crowd, energetic, enthusiastic people, and a task was given to roll out this course by August in 100 centers all across country. For me, it was a nightmare, but it was a great challenge because we don't grow when the things are easy, but we all grow when we have challenges. And that was the thing which we I thought that we should accept the challenges and we should move ahead. We were not knowing because being a public health people, we were not having any interaction at that moment with the diabetologist of the country. We came in touch with you, first of all, and we took your guidance and we thought, let us build it up, the course curriculum. And before making the course curriculum, we also thought that this course curriculum should not be like that, which should be Dr. Mohan's curriculum or Public Health Foundation of India's curriculum. But it should be a curriculum which should concur the needs of the primary care physicians and which should equip them in basic evidence-based management of diabetes at the primary care level. And they should act as our first doorstep to deal with the diabetes patient. And they should also equip enough to deal the complicated cases are there. They should know whom to refer and when to refer. We started working with uh, uh, with you and uh, Dr. Ranjit. I must uh, I must appreciate Dr. Ranjit's efforts in this particular whole 10 days, 10 years series. I will have a presentation. I will show you the presentation also. But let me give you the background first, how these things have happened. The curriculum started and we, con we constituted a national expert panel, panel of 15 eminent national experts People like Dr. Nikhil Tandon from All India Institute of Medical Sciences, Dr. Anil Bansali from PJM at Chandigarh, Dr. A.K. Das, Dr. Shashank Joshi from Mumbai, Dr. Sharath Pense, Dr. Vijay Vishwanathan, Dr. R.V. Jay Kumar, Dr. Bipin Sethi, Dr. Sarita Bajaj. You, you name, it's Dr. Amrish Mittal. You name the person, Dr. Dr. Shri Kanta, Dr. Meher Sekia, Dr. Shubankar Chaudhary, who so who key opinion leaders in the field of diabetes oblique endocrinology they have joined hands together and then they started constituting the course curriculum which has been given by dr mohan's diabetes education academy initial days sir i still remember that uh, when we started making the curriculum day and night we used to sit at your uh, uh, at your in, in, at your institution at chennai gopalapuram and we used to make these curriculum along with along with us. Our designer was also there. We thought we would not waste time, if you remember that, because the time was too less to launch the program. And the designer simultaneously was making the designing of the slides also. We conducted the national meet where these eminent national experts, they have given their views and we have taken the consensus page by page about this course curriculum. It's a 12 modular course. The model is that it's a once in a month on a respective Sunday at your own place. You can take this training from none other than but eminent diabetologists and endocrinologists of your own areas, those who are acting as a key opinion leader in that specific area, which is otherwise very difficult to have interaction with them. But this particular program has provided a glad, great platform to interact with the physicians and to interact with these eminent endocrinologists and diabetologists as a faculty. Teacher to faculty ratio is one is to 20. We have purposely kept once in a month on a respective Sunday because doctors can easily devote four to five hours on once in a month. Once the curriculum has been constituted, it has been vetted by the national experts. The challenge was, the next challenge was that who will deliver this course? With the help of our eminent national experts and with your guidance and with people who are in this field, we have taken the opinion and took best to best faculties from North, East, South and West. We have coined the term regional faculty. Why have we have coined the term regional faculty? Because all across regions we have covered. We conducted the regional faculty meets in a batch of 50-50. If you remember, sir, Delhi, Bangalore, Delhi, Bangalore, Mumbai, 
and uh, uh, we conducted one in Kolkata and Chennai also in a batch of 50-50 where all these people came over, though they are eminent endocrinologists and diabetologists, though they know the subject very, very well, but this is a systematic course. This is not a, this is not a CME. This is a systematic course in which there is a criteria to get the certification. There is a pre-test before the start of each course, each module. There is a post-test. There are some assignments. There is an exit exam in a form of MCQ at the end. So the people should have the fear that it is a systematic course. It is not that anybody or everybody can join and anybody can leave in between. I think out of uh, 12, if they don't attend 10, they don't get the certificate. They don't okay. get the certificate. Yeah. So this journey, uh, then the, once we appraise these faculties, then the challenge was whether the doctors would join this course, who will be the takers? That was another challenge. And all these things within three months, May, June and July, you have to make the curriculum, you have to appraise the faculty and then you have to launch the course. We advertise the course in eminent journals, in the websites of Public Health Foundation of India, your website. We put up the course fee. We thought without putting a course fee, the commitment will never come. Let us have a meager course fee which will cover the cost of around 10% from the funding organizer. The rest will come from the funding. We got the funding from MST to start this eminent initiative. You'll be surprised, sir, 1,208 doctors joined in the first group. And the yeah. course fee, you can mention, people will think it's all lakhs of rupees. It's a very <laughs> good amount which you put. What is the course fee? Yeah, it was 8,000, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, sir. 8,000, whole course, finished. Whole 8, course. 000. Whole it was, course. Yeah, it was 8,000 whole course and convincing the faculty, first of all, to become our faculty, that was the humongous task. Yeah. So somebody was asking me one day whether you know the geography of Kerala. So I <laughs> gave the answer. I landed at Kozikod. I moved to Kannur. I moved to Kannur. Kannur, we were from Kannur. I came back Mahe, Mahe to Kozikode again. Then from Kozikode to Trisur, Trisur to Kochi, Kochi to Alappi, Alappi to Koteam, Koteam to Kolam, Kolam to Trivendram. This is what right. Kerala. <laughs> the whole so, Kerala strip. So, so, so the thing is that we extensively travelled during the initial days, and we have centers in all these places which I have highlighted and we tried our level best that we should meet one-to-one -one and make one-to-one -one contact with the faculties even after taking the consensus from them. I still remember there is one eminent faculty in Kozi Court, Dr. P. Suresh Kumar. I know. We were coming over from Mahe to, from Kannu to Kozi Court. We had an accident and we had fixed up a meeting with them at nine o'clock on the way our vehicle got uh, stuck. He waited, he was waiting there at 12 o'clock in the night till the time we didn't turn over. So he waited, but that is how this connections came over. That is how we build up the connections. And that is how the these faculties have become the eminent ambassadors of this course. Once the faculties were ready, once the course was ready, once the doctors have joined, then the time has come to roll out this model. We circulated the course modules well in advance to all the participants, to all the faculties, to all the national experts. And then we thought we, also, we should also have a panel, a third panel, because this course we are launching in 100 centers in 2010. How we will PHFI seven, eight members sitting in a secretariat would be in a position to make sure that the standardized protocols has been followed in each and every center. Because we have a standardized protocol of four to five hours duration of session with set of slides which these faculties have to display. Other than that, they have the full liberty to display whatever uh, the updations are coming over. There is a pre-test, there is a post-test and this this third panel is known as observers and these observers are associate professors from the public health from the hospital administration even from the phfi team they started moving on site to different randomly to different different centers what we got through these observers today now we keeping all these we are getting the results and what we got initial thoughts we were having the different thoughts but once we kept these different different panels 
it has created a great brand value to the course these observers started moving to the centers and we put it up the parameters on the mobiles of these observers only that you just have to click an sms once you observe the session and you just have to act as a silent observer you should not interfere into the curriculum during these sessions but see how many participants registered how many came over whether the pre test happened whether the faculty case discussions are going on whether the videos has been displayed so these observers are in direct touch with the participants and the faculty and these faculties and participants have started telling to these observer there is an updation in this particular slide there is an elaboration which is needed there is a new things new guidelines have come over kindly intimate phfi kindly intimate dr mohan keeping these observers we used to get 100 pages booklet of feedbacks at the end of each cycle we were we were amazing we were amazed when we started getting these booklets of feedbacks we were thinking with whatever curriculum we are providing it is updated and up to date and that was the major reason sir that i think i would like to i would like to add that also because people will be asking what is so great it's only a course <clears throat> yeah. i and i completely agree with what sandeep is saying i disagree with these uh, you know critics people yeah. think it's just one course because people have tried to imitate what we are doing you know yeah. and uh, they have also tried to do parallel courses they have tried to compete with the they tried to do all those who tried to do that within one year they wound up number one there was no passion number two they didn't have this you know the national faculty 15 of them the who is who of india uh, in endocrinology and diabetes support. number three they didn't have 100 plus regional faculty all well known diabetologists but that is not the only thing as uh, dr sandeep bala just said i don't know whether all of you have caught that every time after every module after every time the the whole cycle was over we will sit down together get the feedback from the delegates get the feedback from the uh, regional faculty we'll get the feedback from the national faculty and then have another meeting where all this is presented by the time what will happen is a new drug would have come or one drug might have gone you know rosiclidazone went away or something else came in sglt2 which are not even there 10 years ago came in dpp4 came in or something else came in or new diagnostic test would have come or new diagnostic uh, or some new research paper would have come some new epidemiological study would have come which needs to be really incorporated each and every one of that will be discussed in the we arbitrarily we don't do that we will discuss it in the regional faculty then we'll discuss it with the national faculty if everybody agrees and says that this has become outdated remove this or when we are doing that suppose some mistake has occurred some uh, typo error has occurred that will also be found out right from every slide every comma full stop uh, whether capital is written small small is written as capital any new reference has to be added somebody will say you have made the statement where is the reference for it so we will add the reference for it if there is no reference we will delete that particular one like this updation has occurred all the 10 years or all the cycles it has happened i don't think anywhere in the world i have seen a constant updation going on now in this process uh, we are not doing it just to say we updated it we are all learning all of us sitting there are learning from each other somebody will say uh, i'll give you six good pictures of diabetic foot the pictures you put there the ulcers are not very good so somebody will say i'll give you 10 good pictures of my patients please add it so that will also get added so it gets enriched so the next uh, thing or they will say the gdm part is not strong enough add five more slides to that add little bit about hypertension you are not covering that dyslipidemia some new things have come new guideline have come you change this and add this sometimes you have completely changed the whole one and then brought in new things this kind of an updation happening number one number two the observers seeing whether everything is being done number three the total passion and commitment of the entire uh, team all the names which uh, he mentioned and he'll be showing you a few slides i think these are the real pillars of the success and that is why it has led to so much of uh, success sandeep why don't you show some of the slides now uh, we'll probably go through that journey and in that you can cover ccgdm as well as ccbm then we'll come back to what is needed for india and so on so i'll allow you to go through these uh, slides now
and tell us the whole summary. I think you are muted. Thank you. So, Go ahead. Thank you, sir. I, uh, as I mentioned that our first journey in the capacity building arena started with a course known as Certificate Course in Evidence-Based Diabetes Management, which is a partnership model between Public Health Foundation of India and Dr. Mohan's Diabetes Education Academy. We got the education grant from MST to start this particular initiative. Currently, we are running the sixth cycle of this initiative, and it's a 12-modular course. Uh, as I mentioned already to you that uh, we have different different uh, panels, we have uh, faculties, we have program secretariat, program secretariat is based in Public Health Foundation of India, participants are none other than but the primary care physicians, we coined a term MBBS doctors with minimum three years of experience, they can join this initiative, we were thinking the freshers would join this course, but we were wrong, you'll be surprised to know that the average age experience of these doctors were 38 years, those who have joined this initiative. 37% uh, of them were having the MD qualifications. We were thinking only MBBS doctors would join. It means the felt need is there. 41% from the government side. A few DMs also joined it. No, a few yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So around 10, 10 DMs have also joined. Sir. Can you move next? Sir? Can you move? If you see the journey, we started with 2010 with 1208 doctors with 100 centers with 128 faculty and now if you see we have we are in 2020 13363 doctors have already been trained in this single initiative all across country and currently this program is in six cycle with 162 faculty all across country along with the eminent panel of 17 national experts so so the demand of the program is not only limited to the private sector as i told you that we have charged starting putting up a course fee and you'll be surprised that 37 percent people from the 41 percent people from the government sector also joined these courses when government sector people from cths esi psus they are started coming it over we thought why not we should approach to the different state governments different corporations here i should say put it up very upfront to all of you that kolkata municipal corporation was the first corporation who adopted this particular initiative and seven state governments have already adopted these courses government of madhya pradesh government of Odisha, haryana Manipur, Mizoram, Kerala, and this is the strength of the course that this course is not only now limited to India, but it has crossed the national boundaries and it has been adopted by Bangladesh Diabetes Society, Myanmar Diabetes Society, East African Diabetes Society, Kabul University, Afghanistan Endocrine Society, Nepal, Ministry of Health, Rwanda. Next. And I think Manipur recently, uh, no, uh, Myanmar recently, there was a, uh, just yeah. yesterday you completed uh, something in the Myanmar. Second, yeah. yeah. Yes, yesterday only the second cycle in the Myanmar, we have completed and 116 doctors in the Myanmar did this course. Yeah. This is the eminent national expert panel, as I already mentioned to you that we have Dr. Nikhil Dandan from All India Insurance Medical Sciences, sir is head of the Department of Endocrinology there. Dr. S. K. Wangnu from Apollo Hospital, Dr. Sarita Bajaj, madam from Allahabad, Dr. Meer Sekia, Dr. Subhankar Chaudhary from Kolkata, Dr. Bipin Sethi from uh, Hyderabad, Dr. Sharad Pense from uh, Nagpur, Dr. Vidya Vishwanathan, Dr. Mohan then himself as a national expert from Chennai, Dr. A.K. Das from Pondicherry, Dr. Shri Kanta from Bangalore, Dr. R.V. Jayakumar from Kochi, Dr. Shashank Joshi from Mumbai, Dr. Bansi Sabu from Ahmedabad, Dr. Amrish Mittal from uh, Delhi, uh, Dr. Anil Bhansali from PJM at Chandigarh. These are the eminent key opinion leaders in our country. They are They have been associated with this initiative since 2010. And if you see on the extreme side, there is a, another very great colleague of mine, that is Dr. Ranjit Krishnan. He is from the Dr. Mohan's Diabetes Education Academy, and he is one of our eminent academic partner, and he is the one who has been associated since inception in finalization of the course curriculum based upon the inputs, whatever we are getting every cycle by cycle from these national experts. So my humble thanks to Dr. Ranjit Krishnan for his kind efforts and immense efforts to continue this journey and putting up the curriculum updated day by day. Next.
So these national expert panel also, they are not only associated in making the course curriculum, but other than that, they are also moving to the centers, different, different centers. Every national expert, they have to observe minimum three sessions, different, different sessions, other than making the curriculum. So they also provide us the various feedbacks after attending all of, of, of these sessions. If you see now the program outreach, you name the city, and we have from Jammu to Kerala, from Kanyakumari, you can see the number of centers. Number of centers currently, we, we started with 100 centers in 2010, and now we have around 140 centers currently going on all across country. And now this program has become the roaring successful model in the field of diabetes management in not only in India, but it has crossed the national boundaries also. Next. This was, this is a history. This was the first course. I think I, I would request Dr. Mohan to talk about the IDF, how the has come over. Yeah. So we have the International Diabetes Federation or the IDF, as you know, is the largest federation of diabetes associations in the world. Uh, some 130 or 40 countries are associated with that. Uh, almost 200 diabetes associations, because some countries may have four or five associations, about 200 associations. And uh, the numbers of, of this uh, uh, that they are, were affiliated to IDF are mind boggling. So we had Sir Michael Hurst, who was the president of the IDF at that time uh, for the whole world. So he visited us and he came to know about uh, this particular course. Uh, so he said, this is something phenomenal. Nowhere in the world they are doing such a thing and IDF will be very happy. Why don't you apply uh, for recognition, formal recognition from the IDF? So we just submitted an application. We just said, this is what we are doing. And this became, I think, the first course in the world uh, to be affiliated by the IDF. And they gave a rubber stamp on that and said, this is the in pursuit of diabetes education. We recognize this particular course. That means anybody who gets a certificate uh, from this uh, particular course has the IDF logo uh, on it as the IDF uh, Center of Education and the IDF logo. This was followed by the South Asian Federation of Endocrine uh, Society, SAFIS, which is uh, for the South Asian uh, region, which has in India, Bangladesh, uh, and Nepal, and all these countries. And they also gave us uh, the certificate. So from two independent bodies, the IDF and SAFIS, we got this recognition for the CCE video. Sandeep. Okay. It's uh, muted, muted. You can unmute and talk. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so when these recognitions have come over, the courses, the credibility of the course has gone like anything. Uh, these recognitions have not in a one night game, but it is an immense effort, as I mentioned to all of you, that uh, how we have contributed the curriculum, updation of the curriculum going on year by year. And we are really grateful and thankful to a few senior leaders in the endocrinology sector here who has helped us, Dr. Sarita Bajaj, our own eminent national expert, Dr. Sanjay Kalra, our own national expert uh, in, the, uh, in our other courses, who has connected us with the SAFIs and we got this SAFIs recognition also. Next. Uh, you name the award in India, any chamber award, this particular program has won all the excellence awards. It started with BMJ when the BMJ first time in India started awarding the innovative ideas, innovative educational uh, initiatives. We applied for that and our particular this program CCBDM has been shortlisted as a finalist model. After that, we have won all the excellence award in the skill development from all the chambers, whether it is PhD chamber, FICI, SOCHAM, we have also won the highest award of quality from Quality Council of India, that is DL Shah Platinum Award. Next. So this is, you, the, we have not stopped only in doing the courses, but this particular course has been published into none other than, but Lancet Diabetes and Endocrinology publication, which is 2016, it has come over. So Lancet has picked up this course as a unique initiative a change slant in medical education so which is a big big thing which lancet has picked up and this course has been published there uh, now going to the other journey we started in 2012 we did a partnership again as we mentioned that diabetes is one of the major medical disorder complicating pregnancy affecting one in five live births 
Unfortunately, by missed and delayed diagnosis of GDM is common, particularly in LMICs countries, particularly India. We thought that why not we should have an initiative in gestational diabetes. We again joined hands with Dr. Mohan's Diabetes Academy and we constituted a four modular course. And this was, I'm, if I'm not wrong, Dr. Mohan, I think this was the first platform where the gynecologist and diabetologist, they joined hands together and they became our faculty and we conducted the regional faculty meet at Chennai where 110 faculties were their combination of diabetologists and gynecologists. To make them realize that how important this issue is because you, if you are saving a mother, if, if you are going to save the next generation also. So you are saving two generation if you are going to diagnose and treat the gestational diabetes as early. The model is same academic partners, faculties, program secretariat, participants, this model also have a national expert panel. Next. So we have a panel of mixture of uh, national experts from the endocrinology sector, as well as people from the gynecology sector. Few names I can take from the gynecology sector, Dr. Nija Bhatla, the professor from All India Institute of Medical Sciences, gynecology, Dr. Padmalata Venkatraman, from Bangalore, Dr. Mala Arora from Delhi. She was ex Foxy president also. Dr. Uma Ram from Chennai. Dr. Kushagrati Ghosh from, uh, uh, from uh, Kolkata. Other than that, we have a panel of seven, our own national experts, Dr. Nikhil Dandan, Dr. Shubankar Chaudhary, Dr. Sarita Bajaj, Dr. Mohan. So Dr. Shirikant, uh, eminent people, they joined together and constituted this course as a four modular initiative. 3,000, 300 doctors have already done this course also. And if you see the average age is not less than 37 years. People from the government sectors have started joining this initiative and you will be happy to, I'm very happy to announce here that the gestational diabetes course has been taken over first as an innovative model by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare in their national summit, which they organized in with the organized into in Tirupati under in collaboration with National Health System Resource Center. And this particular model, which we were running in Madhya Pradesh government, which has taken over our GDM course, and it has become the innovative model of education, which we are not saying, but the government of India Ministry of Health has taken up as an innovative model. So this is the story about the gestational diabetes course. Currently, we are into the sixth cycle of this course, and this course has also crossed the national boundaries. It is in Myanmar, East African Diabetes Study Group, Afghanistan Endocrine Society, Ministry of Health, Rwanda. So this journey is also moving. Even the funding has stopped. We have not stopped ourselves. That is another beauty. So we have not stopped the journey. These are our eminent experts, Dr. Shashank Joshi, Dr. Nikhil Dandan, Dr. Amrish Mithal, as I mentioned you. So these are our other national experts in this. Similarly, taking the journey forward, we thought that diabetic retinopathy, studies have already shown that every fifth person in India with diabetes could have diabetic retinopathy causing a significant, significant impact on a health system. With early management, it is possible to reduce the risk of blindness of by diabetic, retinoform, diabetic retinopathy by 90%. And to address this, we again joined hands together and we constituted a third initiative in diabetic retinopathy in collaboration with Dr. Mohan's Diabetes Academy. And this initiative has come in one of the grants which Public Health Foundation of India has received. Our Dr. GVS Murthy, Director of IIPH Hyderabad, he got the grant from Queen's Elizabeth Diamond Jubilee Trust. And in that trust, one of the component in that grant is creation of a capacity building initiative on diabetic retinopathy. Can you move, sir, further? Next. So this course, GDM also got the recognition by SAFIS and uh, as well as from IDF. Next. So this is what I was telling you about the diabetic retinopathy journey. So we got that grant from Queen's Elizabeth Diamond Jubilee Trust and constituted a course under the leadership of Dr. GVS Murthy from IIPH Hyderabad. He's one of our director. And uh, uh, under his vision and in collaboration with Arvind Aikir, sister Arvind Aikir and Dr. Mohan's Diabetes Academy, the first time the ophthalmologist as well as 
the babatologists came together and constituted a four modular course. And each center, we are having two faculties, one diabetologist and one retina specialist. And here, let me put it up very upfront that we are really thankful to Dr. Rajalakshmi from Dr. Mohan's Diabetes Education Academy, who has taken the lead in formation of the course curriculum along with Dr. Mohan and other national experts. Next. If you see the uh, if you see that where we stand in diabetic retinopathy, we are currently running the fifth cycle of diabetic retinopathy. Earlier, four cycles we have conducted on a contact-based initiative, and now we are conducting it into an online mode. We got we shifted this program into the online mode, and this program also got the endorsement from All India Ophthalmological Society as well as UK research institution GCRF through Ornet India. And this course already 638 doctors have already done this initiative. So very meager cost, 5,000 rupees is the course fee, four modular course. And let me tell you, our eminent faculties like Dr. Vij Dr. Uh, VK Abhi Chandani from Ahmedabad, Dr. TK Ameshwar from Rajkot, Dr. Prop, Dr. Uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Uh, Ram, Ram Surup Jawahar from uh, Kakinada, people like Dr. M. B. Lakshmanan from uh, Tuti Korin, people uh, like Dr. Anuj Meshwari from Lucknow. You name the person that uh, that's, the, we have the association with all of them. And all these eminent faculties are contributing not only in teaching, but also contributing in day to day for providing us the updations on the curriculums also. So in total, if you see, next, in total, if you see, we have, this is the eminent panel of national experts, Professor Nikhil Dandan, again from All India Institute Medical Sciences, Dr. Pradeep Venkatesh, very eminent retina specialist, professor at All India Institute Medical Sciences, Dr. Ish Bhatia from Lucknow, Dr. T. P. Das from Hyderabad, Dr. Uh, Dr. Vijay Vishwam, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, professor Natrajan from Bombay, Dr. Raman, uh, Professor uh, Raman from Chennai. And these are the eminent faculties, Dr. Kim Ramaswamy, sir is from um, Arvind Daikir, representing Arvind Daikir Madurai. These are the eminent panel, national panel for our- Dr. This Dr. Raman is from Shankar Netralia. Very much yeah, is Shankar Netralia. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Rajalikshan, yeah. of course, works very closely. She has also been doing a lot of work uh, on this from our center. So, so if you see that, that this journey, of the courses is continuous journey. It is not, the, the stop has not happened so far. The continuous education processes have started and various state governments, we have started disseminating this model of courses and now various state governments they have already taken up these courses and they are getting, providing the benefits to their medical officers based in CHCs and PHCs. Now the health and wellness concept of government of India has come up and in which NCDs are a major, major focus. And in that capacity building and training is one of the major focus. And now we, in collaboration with Dr. Mohan's Diabetes Academy, moving to the state governments, already the modules are ready, well set, model is ready. Already it has been tested into various state governments. So we are approaching to the state governments to adopt these courses and we are so that we can facilitate and strengthen the health systems in any way what we can do. So that journey, if we have to say that journey is not a one day journey, but currently it is almost a decade journey. And if you see the decade journey, then we should consider now health as an investment. We should not consider health as an expenditure. And this COVID-19 pandemic has given us very clear cut idea that we should make health as an investment. Uh, we should make health as an investment, not as an expenditure. So through these courses, there is a opportunity that people, the doctors can get the benefit sitting into their own cities. You don't have to come to Delhi, Hyderabad, Bangalore, but people interior to interior places like Devaria, Nagar Koel, uh, the, uh, you, you name the places, Kuti Koren, uh, uh, Raja Mundri, named Kaki Nada, people are taking the training, standardized course, standardized modules all the time with updated course curriculum. Another beauty of these courses are that the network which these courses have given. If you see, if you see that, that 17, 13,000 doctors only in our diabetes main course have taken the training so far. 
4,000 in total for our diabetic retinopathy as well as our GDM. Yeah. This yeah. 17,000 doctors, we have not forgotten the first batch also in 2010. We are providing them the soft copies of the curriculum, updated curriculum free of cost. And we are not charging anything from them. Other than that, now let me tell you the another beauty of this course is because one of our objectives of this course is at networking. We have requested our eminent faculties to act to help us whenever they are organizing any conferences, any 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 uh, any seminars, and they should provide PHFI the opportunity to display these initiatives and where we can display where people should come you to know. mention about our state where we, you have participated yeah. in all our so, updates. So, so if you see that Dr. Mohan's Diabetes Academy, when they started their annual conferences, we were the first to get the opportunity as a complimentary stall there. And every year, every year, it is not only now Dr. Mohan's Diabetes Education Academy, which is providing us, but people like Dr. Anuj Meshwari is one of our eminent person who has given us eminent, immense opportunity. Dr. Bansi Sabu, he has given us immense opportunities into their annual conferences. Dr. Vijay Neglu, they have given us immense opportunities. So through these conferences, PHFI is putting up their different, different stalls of education, putting up these courses, disseminating the knowledge, disseminating the updated courses when, when the next course is coming up. And with this, the huge, huge network which we have created now. And we are not only limited to these three courses. I just want to add that currently we are running. We started with one course in 2010. And now the training reason of Public Health Foundation of India is having around 25 different courses. And we have trained around 32,000 primary care physicians all across country. And we have become the skill building partner for government of Madhya Pradesh and government of Tripura. And now the time has come that whatever best we can do or whatever the things we are having, we want to disseminate. We want to do more and more. So we need all of your blessings. I'm really thankful to uh, all my leaders first in Public Health Foundation of India, Dr. Professor Keshi Nath Reddy, my eminent team, basically it is not my work, it is a great teamwork. I cannot name the P because we are now 50 people working day and night. The beauty of these courses are it is only on Sundays. When people think there is no work, our work starts. So every once a month on a respective Sunday, different, different sessions all across the country, it is happening. I'm very thankful to my eminent team members. I'm very thankful to our academic partners like Dr. Mohan's Diabetes Academy for keeping for giving us this these platforms and having a faith on us. Very thankful to National Expert Panel, our regional faculties. I cannot name here all the faculties, but whenever I tell you there are few faculties in which where we need any time help people, they have come over, jump over. I had like a few things, yeah. uh, First of all, there's been yeah. some feedback yeah. from people who are listening. So I just wanted to uh, add that. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Yogesh uh, has asked uh, CCBDM uh, in this course, I'm interested how to contact. So Yogesh, uh, after this, we're going yeah. to put up one slide where yeah. all the uh, contact details uh, will be present. You can put it up now, uh, uh, Sundar. Yeah. Uh, so that, yeah. Uh, OK, so these are all the this he has mentioned. This is the one. We'll keep this on for some yeah. time. Those of you yeah. who want to take a picture of this, you can take that. Uh, so Dr. Sandeep Balla's address is there, phone number is there, email ID is there, website is there. If you just write to Dr. Sandeep Balla, the single most important contact Dr. Sandeep Balla, he will tell you what to do, where the courses are being held. Tell us where you are placed and he will link you to the nearest city uh, or town where it is being done. Uh, there is a blog written. If you uh, take this blog, uh, it will tell you all about these courses. A summary of this uh, is written and we are trying to put some pictures and all that in that. And this is my own email ID uh, thing. So please visit our blog as well and visit the email ID. I want to read the two or three comments which have come here. Dr. Putra Kumaran has written, an investment in knowledge yields the best dividend. PHFI and DMDSC have kept the academic quality bar high. Thank you. Uh, so Dr. Uttra, thank you so much uh, for your kind words. And uh, we really appreciate that. Uh, Veni Balla has written great efforts have put in uh, creating such a useful program and big success. Lager, Lager Rahao 
all the best for future program hindi is not very good then dr venkata lakshmi lakshmanan has written watching from michigan usa she is watching from michigan okay and uh, watching michigan usa so good to see your work uh, so that is another comment which has come and uh, so is there any other comment uh, cynthia if there's something else you can bring that up i'm not able to see the last one because there is something uh, hiding this let me see if i can pull this out oops cynthia is there something else you can bring that up i'm not able to oh. see the last one because there is something uh, hiding this let me oh, see what pull happened this out hello i'm back yes sir well i think i uh, something is coming here I'm trying to get rid of it and i got locked out uh, so okay. anyway i'm back uh, so dr rajiv chibber is saying these courses be enlisted with government of india skill building for healthcare under uh, ministry of uh, health family i think it's being done isn't it uh, sandeep you have made several presentations to the ministry uh, you are muted you are muted you can unmute now Yeah, yeah. Uh, already, some state governments have already uh, taken it up. As I mentioned, that seven state governments for diabetes have a course. Then six What state governments for central diabetes. government ministry also. You presented. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. We presented this model, and uh, because uh, state health is a state subject, uh, so okay. we have to approach oh, the state okay. governments to implement that. So that oh. is what the guidelines are. Yeah. Very good. Uh, so i think the other dr manoj joshi has written the partnership between phfi and dmda has benefited tremendously to the participants thanks to dr v mohan sir and dr sandeep palla sir thank you manoj you have also been helping a lot uh, <laughs> ganesh kandarkar uh, at least one week hands on training okay so this is something which has come up oh, so what i wanted to share is some uh, snippets of information uh, uh, sandeep mentioned how a bonding has occurred let me give you one or two examples now there is he mentioned that for four to five hours is the training okay five hours itself you take five into 12 is 60 hours so unless you get trained for 60 hours in one year you're not going to get the course and if you don't attend the exam you don't get it if you don't sit the exit exam you don't get it if you don't attend 12 uh, 10 out of the 12 courses preferably all the 12 you don't get it so there are strict criteria so and there are people whom you're not given the certificate because they didn't perform to that not only that even when the national uh, faculty or the regional faculty don't perform suppose they don't take they will remove them they say sorry your commitment is not enough in this so we are going to replace somebody else who can give time so we have maintained very 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 high standard the so points i wanted to make are one or two so i said 5 hours is what it's normally so they start around 9 o'clock uh, or then they can go on up to 1 or 2 and it normally ends with a lunch but i know there are some places like dr shanmugavelu's uh, center in trichy where they start in the morning at 9 and go on up to 6 o'clock in the evening can you imagine for a course people staying uh, for 9 hours 9 hours what is for 5 hours they go on discussing more cases more this thing and at 6 o'clock just because it is getting late they say i'm sorry but we have to stop so this just shows the bonding number 1 these are all storage nobody will believe if you tell them that for 9 hours somebody is attending a course when it's supposed to be for 4 or 5 hours that's the first one second thing i know that there are other uh, you know centers for example dr chakravarti's uh, center in uh, uh, he is he belongs to his medical officer in air india and his center and one or two other centers 
after the cc ebdm course is over see remember remember there's a module 12 modules are over before the next one starts there could be some four or five months gap before the next or maybe cc gdm is going on so cc ebdm the small gap four months five months during those four or five months all the doctors come back this is not required at all okay but i say this has become such a nice kind of a learning exercise academic exercise let us continue to meet so every uh, one once in a month whether there is ccbdm or no ccbdm they continue to meet and they continue to learn okay that is the second thing that i learned third one as uh, sandeep said mds dms and others have attended uh, this course uh, number 4 is the number of uh, foreign uh, you know doctors who have asked can you give us the course and when we have given the course to the government we didn't charge one rupee we gave it free to the government you said you take this this is uh, your our contribution to to nation building and so when you mentioned about the skill uh, sets uh, definitely a lot of the uh, some of the governments they sent hundreds of doctors they took over the training and they conducted it exactly as we do it and in their own systems they have adopted it i don't know of any course in india in any subject in medicine which has reached this level of that's all because of the perfection which has been obtained in this course although we are saying it uh, but for lancet to publish it that particular uh, paper which he mentioned in fact three papers were shown sandeep didn't talk about the other two there was also a paper on gdm a cc gdm which was published uh, then there was a, a, a article in uh, on the cc dr diabetic retinopathy that was published in the indian ophthalmology journal the cc gdm was published in the indian journal of endocrinology and metabolism and the cc ebdm was published in the lancet diabetes and you can imagine how difficult it is to publish one paper in lancet diabetes and endocrinology and the whole article only on this what we did capacity building was published in in the lancet uh, so that was really great uh, dr mohammed wasim gori says thank you dear dr mohan sir and dr sandeep sir looking forward to getting myself enrolled for the next cc bdm cycle dr mohammed wasim definitely you can do that we have given you our contact details in the previous slide uh, please there put up again now uh, so please you can take up a screenshot of this if you like or a picture of this and please see that you uh, join the next course the reason we are doing this is after doing 10 years we have trained 13000 doctors it's not that we have less doctors or anything and as you can see the graph the numbers are increasing only see any course after some time after initial enthusiasm it will go down here year on year on year the numbers are actually going up um, and you know many many people who met me all over india imagine 130 cities it is being done wherever i go in india people are so proud and they say sir we attended your course we have done your course and uh, you know we have done the phf i did it so beautifully sir we are also proud to be and you know these 130 uh, the, the, the senior the the national faculty are all teachers so they are of a different cadre they are already teaching in medical college they are already professors but many of the regional faculty they are good diabetologists and good endocrinologists but they are in private practice so they have not had any teaching experience here for a whole year they are getting students now and they are getting taught and they are mentoring people so somebody asked can we get uh, you know one week hands on experience that has also happened let me tell you ganesh uh, kandarkar doctor let me tell you that in many of these courses the the faculty open their doors and said come and stay with us come and spend a week with us see how we are treating patients sit in my clinic get some practical experience the other thing that we did was when we started the first course it was more theory there was less practical experience later on as we went we added cases after cases after cases because there were more demand for cases so exactly as we would get a case treatment of type 1 treatment of type 2 so immediately on type 1 child will be shown how will you start insulin for this case what will you start basal what will you do bolus dose what will you give how many times insulin will you give for this case like this case studies are given actual case studies taken from different different doctors who have contributed so i i will say that it's not a theoretical course at all there has been lot of practical training many of them later on decided to do diabetes so they joined some other course they went and did a diploma in diabetes or they went and did some other course in diabetes some of them joined as fellowship program some of them after further training have even joined me they become uh, you know uh, consultants they have worked uh, with me so in in many ways i think this course has been um, history making course 
and uh, i would like to uh, personally congratulate and thank dr sandeep bala the reason i called him for this is because he has been working for 10 years and he has not been so humble he is he doesn't even uh, you know tell anyone so i said it's time that we went public on this lancet can publish it and others can publish it why not the indian public know about this the moment we talk about this on facebook live so many doctors who did not know about this would like to be benefited by this and then this cause other governments may take it up Uh, and so many other possibilities are there this is done not to make money 8000 rupees for 12 uh, courses is not even 1000 rupees a month it's a such a cheap course it's not there to make money doesn't even cover our cost at all it's just because we give it free nobody will value it so we said just charge a small amount so that they get this includes the certificate include the exam includes everything includes the you know the food that they take the lunch and everything is provided in this particular thing Uh, so uh, i think this is uh, by far we can be very proud i'd also like to say uh, that uh, you know i can reveal a secret uh, my book uh, you know on my autobiography is now being uh, written it's being published i don't know whether sandeep knows about this uh, but uh, penguin is publishing my autobiography and uh, the it's been accepted now copyright editing is going on and uh, we are the plan is to publish it in february and in that Uh, autobiography i have included a whole chapter uh, on this on capacity building and a summary of this and how we started and how people got benefit because it is one of the highlights of uh, my life too uh, i do research i treat patients i build institution but also training and how from a fellowship program we went into a course uh, so one of the secrets which uh, you know i uh, uh, always tell people is and that's one of my secrets i'm giving a sneak preview into uh, my autobiography start small and build it up see we didn't start with 10000 people we didn't start with uh, 100 uh, 150 places we started small we built a, a, a curriculum then we tested it out we pilot tested it then we grew and grew and grew and grew then we added one more uh, after many years we added ccgdm after many years we added ccdr so it has been growing 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 so we call it as a snowballing effect so if you start small a snowball also will become big 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 become a huge snowball so that is how it is in medicine that is how it is in research that is how it is in education small steps can go a large thing but what more than anything else what it has taught is for a common cause everybody comes together we didn't see government and private many other people are professors in in government full time there are others are in full time private practice we all came together for a good cause we also decided to share our knowledge i could have kept all the knowledge only and said i will not share there are people who are giving their cases they are giving their x rays they are giving their uh, foot uh, pictures they are giving everything from their own practice saying take it take it it's for a good thing so when you start something for a public cause everybody joins together and that and the close uh, monitoring by phfi and this one single person dr sandeep bala who did it i must give all the credit he mentioned dr ranjit tony krishnan he has played a great role in it i'm very proud that he's my son in law he is a great is a we call him as a walking encyclopedia all his students call him as walking encyclopedia he is a genius and so he has you know put all his heart and soul into it he is very passionate about this even now you tell him any of these courses and he'll sit day and night and I remember all those uh, journeys on the flight when you know deep <laughs> and uh, uh, you know his, his team from phfi and ranjit will book a, you know it will be and we are not allowed to travel business class or anything it will be in economy it will be spice jet or indigo or something one whole row they'll take up three people four people and in the flight they'll be working on all the all the feedback received what two hours earlier from the national faculty notes should have been taken and on the computer by the time we read two and a half hours reach uh, chennai all the changes have been carried out the next module is ready and then next day some people stay behind and then again discuss with ranjit for the next course what to do what other things are do which figures where to take by the time he leaves chennai the next day uh, it's all done the next course is all done that is the kind of passion with which we i remember all this uh, you know i'll be writing research articles at that time on the flight and ranjit will be working with you making those slides there are a couple of other comments we'll read that and probably stop shambho shambho uh, samrat sam samajdar uh, it is important to include research methodology and scores to encourage physicians involved in diabetes care to participate in clinical research we need more research in the field of diabetes involving peripheral doctors dr shambho i cannot agree with you more i started my career in research when i was 18 years old 
and the research runs in my blood uh, so I, i i cannot agree with you more so we have included a little bit of research in it but the whole idea as uh, sandeep said is to train uh, people in primary care we thought treating diabetes is very important from there some of them have gone on to write research articles and so on that's why we have published it in lancet uh, but if the moment you say research doctors will run away you know uh, many of them don't i'm sure you are a big researcher yourself but not all are like that they say the all that you leave us it teaches how to give insulin how to give tablet <laughs> and diet that is uh, something we will do so we will definitely do that a sort of mohammed wasim gori says uh, dear doc mohan sir can't wait to get my hands on your autobiography and getting it autographed i'll definitely do it uh please uh, you know take my email id whenever i make a promise i'm known never to break it i will definitely send it uh, to you dr mohan wasim but uh, make sure that you write to me there it's come again dr mohan at diabetes or dnd.in all of you have seen it please send us a mail please send it to us so it will be very encouraging to see this uh, dr rajesh mishra says videos and hands on training are more value than these courses well let me tell you rajesh there are a lot of videos in this Yeah, <laughs> we have videos in this, and we have hands-on uh, training also. Uh, so let us not belittle this course, which has uh, benefited thirteen thousand people in twelve countries, and uh, you know twelve governments which have taken it, and thousands of people have benefited. So in one word, you can say that they are no use. You know the courses are useless. You can say that, but ten years of hard work has gone, and no one in the world has done it. So please be a little more generous when you say that. Uh, but i agree with you that videos are very important we included incorporated lots of videos in this there are lots and lots of videos in this lots and lots of training so thing are there hands on training is also provided in the ccdr course actually people yeah. are taught how to do laser how to do fundus photography how to do oct how to they are actually taken to clinics and actually given hands on training so we are actually doing it uh, so these courses you should really make uh, india the atmanibar and health will have a new address globally definitely thank you i entirely agree these are made in india courses from where we are sending it to not only we are serving the whole country but we are now exporting it to other countries so we very happy about that daljit sethi thanks for bringing knowledge to the remotest corners country i agree with you daljit because the whole idea is not to have it in mumbai bangalore uh, you know where all these courses anyway are there there are farmers conducting courses there are international conference being held but if you go to the northeast corner of india you know yeah. whether hardly any courses nothing is yeah. being done those are the places where we have gone he mentioned yeah. rajmundry i mean kakinada tutikorin all the smallest towns that we have gone yeah. to those are the places where they have benefited where for yeah. them it is like an eye opener a total yeah. eye opener to them and you can't uh, you know if you read some of the uh, you know feedback do you have those testimonials uh, sandeep yeah, yeah. you can no, i think I, yeah, and tell you uh, what uh, Professor Nikhil Dandan, who is the uh, professor, who is the head of the Department of Endocrinology at All India Institute, what he has written about this initiative. That I have been associated with this program since inception, and have uh, watched it uh, t- uh, from uh, e- e- watched it and evolved it to an outstanding program for training physicians in uh, in the art and science of diabetology. Okay. So this is so what the Nikhil Chandran heads the Department of Endocrinology and yeah. Metabolism uh, and uh, Diabetes at the All India Institute yeah. Medical Center, India's yeah. largest medical college, largest research center. He's a head so, of class uh, researcher, yeah. and he is yeah. part of it from day one. He has not left there. All the courses that he is teaching in the All India Institute. Why should he come and join this course? Because yeah. he values this course, and his inputs have been amazing. You should see yeah. him attend one of the national. Uh, Sandeep mentioned in passing that you have to attend three of the even yeah. the regional faculty is taking. You should go yeah. and attend. He yeah. will send you a five pager after five that. Yeah. This slide was like that. This doctor could have said like this. The participant said like this. We should make this change. That change. Such a pleasure to read what Dr. Nikhil Tandon writes. So much of time, so much of effort they spend into yeah. this. Dr. Amrish Patel. All yeah. the big yeah. names we mentioned. Yeah. They all so given their complete. Yeah, yeah read one. Yeah. yeah there are one or two more from the government sector there is a shrimati gauri singh who was the ex principal secretary ias government of madhya pradesh yeah she has 
the government of MP is focusing a lot on uh, screening for early diagnosis and management of medical conditions. We joined hand with PHFI and Dr. Mohan's Diabetes Academy to build capacity of our healthcare professionals. These courses are very well structured and appropriate as per the need of medical officers. So this has it's, come it's from uh, the health secretary, uh, uh, principal secretary. The connection of is not good. Uh, so the, somebody else has written, these courses yeah. are a real example of PPP, Partnership yeah. for a Public Purpose. You, you got stuck a little bit, uh, Sandeep. You're reading. Yeah. So I was yeah. just telling, sir, there is a uh, ex, ex principal secretary, government yeah. of Madhya Pradesh, uh, Shri Mati Gauri Singh. She has taken over our diabetes course and she has mentioned that government of MP is focusing a lot on screening of early diagnosis and management of medical conditions. And we joined hands with PHFI and Dr. Mohan's Diabetes Academy to build the capacity of our healthcare professionals. And these courses are very well structured and appropriate as per the need of our medical officers. So and we are a skill building partner for government of Madhya Pradesh. And you'll be surprised, sir, 800 doctors from government of Madhya Pradesh has already taken our diabetes course. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. I mean, for a government to write like that, I think we should be very happy. We are not, uh, you know, uh, boasting about it or something like that. It just gives us satisfaction. The reason we are doing yeah. this is 10 years have passed and yeah. so much of silent work has gone on. For the first yeah. time, we are actually coming out in public and saying what we have done. The whole idea yeah. is not to give one more award or to get one more, but yeah. to say that <laughs> these things are available. Please come yeah. and join us. Please come yeah. and help us so that we yeah. can make India. So I'm going to end here by thanking uh, Dr. Sandeep uh, Bala, thanking Dr. Srinath Reddy, thanking PHFI, thanking Ranjit Unikrishnan, and thanking DMDA, thanking all the national faculty, regional faculty, the delegates who made this uh, possible, the sponsors who gave their uh, thing without any strings attached, thanking all of them. But I would like to end by saying that everybody talked about India becoming the diabetes capital of the world. That is not a medal that we want. Or is it becoming a cancer capital of the world, diabetes capital of the world? We don't want. We don't want to become yeah. diabetes at all. Reduce it. Reduce the number. We want to become the diabetes the care diabetes. capital of the world, the diabetes care capital of the world, the diabetes research capital of the world, and a diabetes free India. When I say diabetes free India, I'm not saying the entire diabetes will go away. What I'm saying is that no complications will be there in India. I don't want anyone in India to have complications. It must come to a stage where we can say that there is no more diabetic retinopathy in India. There is no more diabetic nephropathy in India. There is no more diabetic heart disease in India. Nobody will have an amputation due to diabetes in India. This is what we are waiting for. Every gestational diabetes uh, mother will deliver a baby which will be normal. We already achieved that. Now, Wings Project, uh, we already achieved that and we have shown that uh, you know the outcomes of a mother with GDM is exactly the same as that of a mother without GDM, a pregnant mother without uh, a lady without GDM. This was again a project funded by the International Diabetes Federation called as the Wings Project. We are able to do that. So this is the whole idea behind it. And I'm confident that if all of you support us, join us, and if this partnership continues, uh, India will be a model for the rest of the world to follow. And we are all there to help you. And we pray to the Almighty that uh, he gives us his uh, grace uh, for this to continue. Let me wish all of you all a, a nice weekend um, and uh, stay safe uh, from COVID. Wishing you all the very best. And thank you, Sandeep, again for taking the opportunity to be with, with us. Your, your this opportunity. Yeah. So the last word I want to say before I should close this, that we act local, be vocal, and disseminate global. Wonderful. So we have, we have acted locally for creating such type of course we are creating the noise we are we, we have become vocal now to disseminate this thing and to, for the people should know and we are disseminating this globally already the course has gone to 13 countries i think if we uh, obey with this principle in the times to come and almighty uh, blessings would be there and the support of all our national experts funders as well as uh, regional faculties observers and uh, our partners like you would be there and ultimately the participants, the doctors, those who are joining, if they take these initiatives in a light-minded mode to learn and upgrade themselves, I don't think that India is a ground of innovation and this capacity building initiative with an innovation which India has created. People are coming from outside to learn such type of innovations. Let us continue our efforts of this uh, happy learning and journey and wishing you all of all of you. Thank you. Safe, stay safe. Be safe.
and continue this passion of learning together. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Namaskar and bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.